You know that expression, you know, this is not my first rodeo? Well, for many of you, the next few weeks will not be the first time you've been diving in post-flood conditions. For some of you, however, this may be a new experience and you may not know what to expect. So in this video, we're gonna cover five things that you need to be aware of when diving in post-flood conditions. Number one, the springs will not become instantaneously clear. It just doesn't work that way. It takes a while for things to get back to normal. During the flood, literally trillions of gallons of dark tannin-stained water were sucked underground. They don't come out overnight. Now, a lot of the worst water will come out while the springs are returning to normal levels. But even when you're able to get back into the caves again, expect less than ideal visibility. Both Madison and Peacock opened up in the last few days, and initially people reported peak visibility of no more than about 10 meters or 30 feet. Number two, the poor visibility is going to stay with us for a while. The flood lasted over two and a half months, and during that time, a tremendous amount of dark water was sucked into the aquifer. And because it was down there for so long, it had plenty of time to permeate its way through water and rock. Well, all that tannin isn't gonna come out overnight. How long is the poor visibility likely to stay with us? It's hard to say. How long will depend on factors such as which spring we're talking about and just how quickly the water exits. Just don't expect an instantaneous return to crystal clear water. Number three, expect silt. Not only does the flooding suck in a tremendous amount of tannin stained water, it also sucks in an amazing amount of silt and sediment. So right after the flood, you're gonna see a fine dusting of silt lying on top of, oh, just about everything. And even though you're as careful as you can be in terms of buoyancy control and trim, you're gonna stir up some of it. Well, it's not gonna be as bad as when an open water diver with no cave training goes in a cave, but you are gonna notice some silting. It will be especially noticeable if you're behind a person who's going in ahead of you and when you're all coming out again. How long will this condition last? Well, again, it will vary, but what needs to happen is there needs to be enough cave diver traffic so that the fine coating of silt is first kicked up and then flushed away by the current. So if you go cave diving right now, you're actually doing your fellow cave divers a favor. Number four, high water levels mean high flow. When this much water goes underground and then comes out again, it's gonna come out with force. People who were diving Madison Blue this last weekend reported fire hydrant-like conditions. And it's likely to stay that way a while. You can expect the same at uh, Little River when it opens up and we understand that Manatee, which is where I'm at right now, as the water levels have subsided, the flow is picked up here as well. Usually during a flood, with water in the river rising, the flow at Manatee slows down. Well, now it's back to its normal self, and that means it's going to stir up a lot of sediment too. Number five, water levels will fluctuate. Just because we're able to dive the springs again doesn't mean that the water levels return instantly to normal. You can tell by just looking around Manatee here how high above normal the water levels are. And that's gonna be true at a lot of springs. How high and how long they're gonna stay that way? Well, that will depend again on a variety of factors. Just don't expect the water to be down where you're used to it being. Here at Catfish Hotel, 
you can see that the water level is still up at least a meter above the concrete slab we usually stand on. You'll find similar challenges elsewhere. Well, now that you have a better idea of what to expect, go out and have some fun. Just be aware that things will be different than what you're used to. And that's kind of cool, really, because it shows you the variety of conditions that can exist in our springs. In any event, you know what's best of all? Getting to dive someplace that isn't devil's eye and ear. As great as that site is, it can get old after a while.